The brother of the Eugene man charged with killing his father and his father's partner takes the stand for the defense today. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Renee McCullough. And I'm Matt Templeman. James Gillette was the big witness as the defense where Johan Gillette began its case today. KZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz joins us outside the Lane County Courthouse with our top story at 5 o'clock. Sarah. Johan's brother James Gillette testified in court today on their dad's explosive and violent behavior and recalled a number of occasions where he lost self-control and became aggressive toward the brothers. Now Johan is charged with murdering his dad uh, James Gillette and his former partner University of Oregon School of Music Dean Ann McLucas. And the prosecution claims that Johan beat James and Ann with a wrench and then used bleach to cover up those crimes. But Johan is claiming self-defense. Now, Johan's brother James testified from his earliest memories. He knew his dad to be an aggressive, violent, and explosive person. And he said that the Gillette family had the same opinions of the boy's dad. But he said that Johan was known to be peaceful and nonviolent. Johan's brother James testified that his dad was athletic and often forced the boys to box each other, often ending in injury. He said his dad often carried a gun and had numerous guns around the house. And James said his dad was unpredictable. I remember a lot of you know yelling and pounding on the table incidents. And I remember an incident where uh, my dad's girlfriend at the time kind of fled from the room and he wound up throwing a spoon that stuck through the drywall next to the frame of the door, handle first all the way into the drywall. Now, Commissioner Pete Sorensen also took the stand this afternoon. He testified on a number of instances where the father, James Gillette, became aggressive and violent in commissioner meetings. Commissioner Sorensen said when they knew that Father James Gillette was coming to the meetings, they would alert security. Now, there were a number of witnesses who testified this morning that were friends of Johan. Uh, some of them actually grew up with him from elementary school, and they maintained that Johan was a peaceful and nonviolent man. Live in Eugene, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.